As we watch this video, each minute that passes reminds us of the precious moments a person clings to when trapped alive under the rubble of a disaster. As they desperately wait for rescue, they listen for the sound of a search dog who will save their life. On January 12th, 2010, a magnitude 7.0 earthquake hit Haiti, destroying most of Port-au-Prince and many surrounding communities. Seven canine disaster search teams trained by the Search Dog Foundation were called into action. The teams were airlifted into the disaster zone on a C-17 military cargo plane as part of the 72-member California Task Force Two. Soon after landing, the teams began identifying buildings with a high probability of survivors, and the dogs started combing the wreckage. The highly specialized search skills of every dog and handler were put to the ultimate test. So they're now they're bringing in one of the dogs to see if the dog will pick up a scent. Jasmine Seguar's dog is named Maverick, specially trained to pick up the smell of a living human trapped in debris. For victims buried alive beneath rubble, every minute counts. Three days into the deployment, Captain Bill Monahan and Hunter were searching a neighborhood near the presidential palace when Hunter alerted on the scent of live humans. Three teenage girls were found, buried alive under 16 feet of broken concrete. It was a four-story building that had collapsed and he started off on the search. He penetrated in under these floors and kept trying to get in where these people were, which is what they tried to do. Rescue workers pulled the girls from the wreckage and provided first aid. In all, SDF teams helped bring 12 people to safety during their 16-day deployment. The deployment marked a milestone for canine disaster search, with the greatest number of live finds ever made by American search teams. In 1995, retired school teacher Wilma Melville was deployed to the Oklahoma City bombing with her black lab Murphy as part of the Los Angeles County Task Force. At that time, there were only about 15 FEMA-certified search dogs in the U.S., and Wilma returned home determined to do something about this. In 1996, she founded the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation. Its mission? To strengthen disaster response in America. Wilma designed a program based on partnering rescued dogs recruited from animal shelters and breed rescue groups with firefighters and other first responders. She partnered with nationally renowned trainer Plaus Davern, and together they developed a new streamlined training methodology that raised the bar for all search team training in America. When you take a dog to a collapsed building, it's an area completely foreign to the natural instincts of a dog. We train the dogs on this kind of obstacle so that they will not mind peculiar footing, heights, things that tilt and sway under their feet. Easy, wait. In 2001, the deployment to the World Trade Center disaster put the Search Dog Foundation in the national spotlight. Suddenly, Americans understood the value of canine firefighter search teams and learned about a little group based in Ojai, California, that was providing these teams to the nation. The frantic hours after September 11th showed us how rescue dogs played a vital role in helping to find trapped victims and recover bodies. They patrol the rubble after a disaster, but who makes sure there are enough rescue dogs to answer the call? The Search Dog Foundation is the only organization in America solely dedicated to rescuing dogs and partnering them with firefighters at no cost to their departments or to taxpayers. It is a small organization doing big things for America. With a staff of 10, a board of seven, and an army of volunteers, the Search Dog Foundation is a lean, efficiently run, stable organization. 
the nation's leader in the field of canine disaster search. Yes, sir. Search. Search. We got an alert. Now, the search teams need a home. When we train our canines, we can only train them to a certain level with what we currently have. We have literally looked for every rubble pile that was a decent size. And they stay for two weeks or two months, and those rubble piles disappear. Those rubble piles are not the best we can do. We can bury a victim only inches deep in a rubble pile that's heaped along the side of a road or heaped at a recycling center. We need to bury victims 10, 12, 15 feet. You have to have a facility that provides those kind of props, that provide a way of changing those props to keep changing the different levels of trainings of the dogs and keep challenging the dogs. The Search Dog Foundation is stepping up to its greatest challenge to date, the creation of a national training center where rescued dogs become rescuers and where all of America's search teams receive the advanced training they need for the most difficult rescue operations. This is a must-do project that calls upon the can-do spirit of America, mobilizing the resources, talents, and energy of the private and nonprofit sectors to bring a life-saving gift to the nation at no cost to taxpayers. This facility is needed, just a facility that is specifically for training canine disaster search teams. It doesn't exist anywhere in this country. If you have a facility that can simulate those situations and the, the range of, of uh, environments that you're going to be in, I mean, that's, like I said, it's worth its weight in gold. We have the land. 125 acres in the foothills of Santa Paula, California, 90 minutes north of Los Angeles, a historic ranch site donated by the Frank McGrath Jr. family, one of Ventura County's pioneer farming families. We have the plan, a facility with excellent kennels and disaster simulation props found nowhere else in the country. And we have a targeted opening date. By opening on that day, the Search Dog Foundation is honoring those who perished in the disaster and those who risked their lives to save others. Join the Search Dog Foundation in saying to the country and the world, we have not forgotten. America's search dogs need a home, and our firefighters need a place to train. Join the Search Dog Foundation in showing the nation that working together, we can give our communities the disaster response resources they require and deserve. Make your mark on disaster preparedness by helping to build a national training center for America. The clock is ticking. Please help complete this historic project and give the search teams their home.
Contact the Search Dog Foundation to be part of a national training center, to be part of the search.